guess it's almost time for me to turn it out for the night. Have my fun for the day. Last topic. Many men can get a woman. How many can keep one though? That's the question. So if you want to pound your chest and act like you created some, you know, I took your bitch and this and that. How many can keep them though? A lot of y'all get a woman, and then once you get a woman, you start doing shit that you didn't do to attract the woman in the first place. Some of y'all get a woman, and now you want to fall back on work. Now you don't want to work as much. Now you want to um, let go of yourself, how you eat, and all that shit. You also feel like, well, I got this woman now. I ain't got to do nothing else. She ain't going nowhere. I'm just going to do the same routine of going to work and come home every day. And that's going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Or maybe I'll just take her out occasionally, you know. That should be enough to keep her there, right? Y'all don't realize why the woman likes you in the first place. I think that's your biggest issue. And trust and believe when I tell you that a lot of men are going to fall by this. They're going to get the woman. Once they got the woman, then they're going to fall back on everything they was doing because they was only self-improving in the first place to get a woman or for a woman instead of for themselves. Now, women are going to say, don't work as much, do this or that, I want to spend more time with you and shit. And the moment you, and she does, she means what she say. But the problem is, once you do that, eventually she's going to lose attraction, man. Or, yeah, she might not lose all attraction, but she's going to be, she's going to lose attraction. Because a lot of times they say what they don't really mean. And all and also how you got the woman to like you in the first place was, you know, working and being assertive and shit like that. Not sitting at home under her all the time, 24-7. And by you not being around as much, she missed you more. Now you're around her all the time. She don't even have time to miss you now. And you're doing what she says, that's that. Which is also another turn off to women. When you always do what they say. Basically she conquered you. And now the game's over and now the joke is probably gonna be on you more than her. But not only that, some of y'all men just feel like I got her in the bag now. I ain't gotta do nothing else. You know, but you're always in competition with another guy. There's always other men out here trying to talk to your girlfriend, your woman, your wife, whatever. So you don't have time to sit back and say, you know what, I'm good now. I'm just going to um, put it on cruise control. Because women are looking for men who are constantly improving. Just because she met you here doesn't mean she wanted you to stop right there. She wants you to keep improving. She, they, they mainly pick you off of the potential of what you can do or become. Not necessarily what you are. So by you saying, well, I got the woman now, I'm about to drop days or something like that, that's not a good move. And some of y'all are going to say, I don't care, she can go. You say that until she actually goes, and then you're going to feel dumb. I understand that you got to have time for the woman and for your family and shit like that. But for the most part, men just completely become comfortable, lazy, and not who they was that attracted the woman in the first place, man. Right? So why should a woman stay with someone who is not who she was attracted to in the first place? You're becoming someone else now. Same thing could be said, vice versa. 
women do certain things to attract a man. Then once they get the man, they stop doing these things. That's a problem. That's kind of like false advertisement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I'm going to do this and that for you all the time and this and that. But once I got you, I'm not going to do it no more. But people do this and they expect people to still be happy with the person that made them happy. Like, you're not even that same person. But y'all go ahead and y'all do y'all, man. I'm not here to tell you what to do. All I know as far as me, I'm going to keep self-improving with a woman or not. It don't matter. Because I understand I'm always in competition with another guy. Especially when, not when it comes to me self-improving myself. But when it comes to a female, there, you're, whether, whether she's making you be in competition or not, or whether you want to be in competition or not, the fact of the matter is you are in competition. Your ass and uh, drops days and don't want to work no more. She's looking at her, her friend's boyfriend doing this and that. You think that's not going to make her feel a certain way? Or she's looking at that guy that just came up to her the other day and you at home playing PlayStation and, str and y'all struggling to pay rent. It is what it is, man. Nobody want to talk about these things because everybody want to present this perfect mask. But you know when you come on this channel, you're getting a real deal. You cannot stop working this hard and stop self-improving this hard just because you got the woman. I'm telling you right now, you're going to lose that woman one way or another. I promise you. Because if, if and even if you don't lose her to another woman, another man, my bad, well, you will use, lose her to another man if it's not technically another man. And I'm going to tell you what that who that other man is. That other man is that man that you was that made her attracted to you in the first place. You lose that, it's over with. You became comfortable, and she sees that. A lot of y'all doing this shit to get the woman, then when you got them, you don't want to do this shit no more. And you think that that's going to be, the bare minimum is going to be enough. That's not how relationships work. If you're not ready to go all in, don't get in a relationship. Because you got to give your 100% all the time. And hopefully they're giving it back. But what people are doing is they're going hard to get the person. And then I got the person, now I'm just going to fall back and just do nothing. And that's not going to work. You can't expect that person to stay with you and be happy with you because that's not what made them want you and made them happy with you in the first place. But I think with men, what happens is they feel like, well, she's all on my dick, man. She ain't going nowhere. You know, she loves me. Who's she going to get somebody better from? How's she going to do better than me? Uh, she can do better than you because you aren't self-improving. You're not continuing to improve. For one, for two, a lot of times they come across men that are that have this better than you or that better than you. They just chose you or chose to stay with you because they see the potential in you. But a lot of y'all men, you get a woman and you stop seeing the potential in yourself. And that's what's really going on. That's why you can't do that. You know what I mean? That's why I love a woman, but don't really be in love with a woman. Because this is what happens when you're in love with a woman. Not saying you don't, you can love the woman to the moon and back, but that in love shit, oh, I just want to be around you 24-7, I'm going to throw everything away, I ain't going out to do this and that, that's a problem. That's a serious problem, you're going to lose a girl anyway, because she's going to lose attraction, because that's not what attracted her in the first place. But y'all not hearing me, y'all don't care, y'all going to listen to her, and then you should listen to her to a certain extent, but in the back of your mind, you're like, I know she's saying she wants to spend more time with me. You can give her a little bit more time, but at the same time, you better still be on your purpose. Because your purpose ultimately benefits her. And real women know this shit. That's why when you're dealing with a real solid woman, more than likely she's going to get turned off by you wanting to be all up under her more and 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 um, not being on your purpose as much as you was before. She knows that purpose benefits her in the end too, not just you. Problem is you don't know it. Problem is you're gonna make the woman the center of your you're gonna make the woman your purpose. Your purpose was to get a woman. Now that you got her, now you you you, you ain't got no fire left in you. You're you're done. You don't wanna do nothing no more. This is what happens. And the same thing could be said vice versa with the female. You know, they, they don't get no free pass either. They gotta keep up doing the shit they do to get a man. Right? But they're not in this competition as much as we are. In a way they are. 
but not really because there's definitely men in their face. There ain't no guarantee you really got women coming up to you trying to fuck with you. That don't happen like that to every guy. You know what I'm saying? Unless you like a celebrity type of dude or something like that. But she could be a regular ass female. She got that going on. So, it is what it is. But I'm going to leave y'all alone. Get in here and just chill. More of the story is, don't get in a relationship if you're not ready to fucking continue to do what it takes to get the woman. If you're not ready to do what it takes to, to keep the woman, I said that wrong. I meant to keep the woman. Maybe I didn't say it wrong. I don't know. But anyway, y'all get it right. I'm going to fix it here. If you're not ready to do what it takes to keep a woman, don't try to get one until you're ready because you're going to lose her anyway. And sometimes y'all going to lose the woman when you're attached to her and it's going to hurt. It's going to bother you. So don't play with, don't get into something you're not ready for. Because it's going to take your all to keep that woman happy. And that might not even be enough. Same thing, vice versa. If you're a woman watching, same thing, vice versa. It's going to take you off. But as men, we are, um, we have the burden of producing. You have to keep producing. A lot of y'all put it on cruise control. Oh, man, I caught up on all my bills. I'm a cruise now. No. Why would you cruise? You want to keep going. You got to keep doing what you did to get you out of debt. Why would you stop now? Because the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to end up back in debt. This is a marathon and not a race. A lot of y'all want to start tap dancing and doing cartwheels halfway through the fucking ra a marathon. And wonder why you losing. Wonder why you losing the end. Because you thought it was a race. You thought it was over. You way ahead of everybody. Now you want to start dancing and, and doing cartwheels and shit. It ain't over, motherfucker. It's never over. As a man, you always got the burden of producing. No matter what. For if it's for the woman and your kids or you, whatever, it don't matter. It could be for your mom, sister, whatever. Next generation, whatever. You always got the burden of producing. Ain't no time to sit around and play and be lazy and shit. You're not a woman. Nobody's coming to save you because you put makeup on your face. Because you got a vagina. You don't have that option. Some women don't even have that option to be quite frank about it. But you definitely don't as a man. No way around it. Unless you want to go live off of women, which makes you a woman. I know you don't want that. A lot of y'all wonder why women lose attraction and shit. I'm telling you nine times out of ten why. Let's say it was a good woman. Because, you know, the fake ones don't lose attraction. They were just faking attraction. You know what I mean? They never really had attraction for you. You don't lose real attraction like that. It don't just fade away. Right? But if you was faking it, then yeah. Right? Or a man could be a cause of it for the most part. A lot of times that's what it is. Whatever you was doing to get that woman, you got to start, you got to keep that up. You want to start uh, taking women on $500 dinners? Well, you got to keep that up all the way through. That's what you get. That's why you shouldn't have been doing all this, these magic tricks from the very beginning to see if she really wanted to fuck with you or not. But that's a whole nother topic. I'm going to leave y'all alone, man. Um, don't get with a woman if you ain't ready to keep the woman. Don't try to get a woman if you're not ready to keep one. Or if you're not ready, if you're not ready to do what it takes to keep one. Because even if her body's still right beside you every day, it's another thing men don't get. Even if her body's right there by you and you see it right there, that don't mean she's really there. That don't mean her mind's there. That don't mean her pussy's there. She's there, but that don't mean she is. That don't mean she's not looking, thinking about other men or wanting another man and shit. Because you're not doing what you should do. Cheating and sleeping with another guy because you're not doing what you're supposed to do as a man. But you think it's okay to be like Al Bunny and come home and sit on the couch every day. Because you got a girlfriend now. And the reason why a lot of y'all men think this is because you were doing, only doing what you had to do to get a woman. 
That's the only reason why you wanted to, I'm a man, I'm going to go to work and be a man. You was only doing that for a woman, and once you got one, you stopped doing it. Plain and simple. Because if not, then why'd you stop once you got the once you got the woman? Now nah, it don't work that way. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Share. Out.